Hi, welcome to another crossword video. Uh, hello, especially to the uh, number of new subscribers recently. Welcome. Um, and uh, just a message to anybody, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see on the channel, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Right, today I'm going to look at a Chambers crossword. I haven't done one of these for a while. They are quite tricky, so this might be a bit of a longer video. You all know already how long this video is. I don't. Okay. As usual, link is in the description. Give it a go. Right, let's start here. Once inside, do not turn right for an adjacent property. Next door. Once inside, do not turn right. Might be next door, bear that in mind. Regular sweetheart stayed out. Um, regular often means take all the odd letters or all the even letters, doesn't it? I don't think that works in this case. No. Oops, that one. Silly task, gin drunk for sport. Mm. Skating, so silly task means anagram of task, which gives us that skatey, and then gin drunk, anagram of gin. Gin is a useful um, word for setters, because uh, ing, of course, very common for words that end in ing. Complicated, like imperfect timber, knotty. Um, bad word has got knots in it, hasn't it? It's those sort of uh, harder lumps in wood are called knots. And knotty means complicated. Pretend to be unaware of wounded lieutenant by door dropping round. Mm. Pretend to be unaware of, probably our definition. Take a... I don't know. Wounded lieutenant by door now, I wonder if this is an anagram then of lieutenant and door without one of the O's, or lieutenant by door. I need some letters for that one. So this one, 26 too, so it starts at 26, so it could be next door. Once inside. Yeah, so it is going to be next door. I'm not quite sure why, but um, I think that's an R there. And this is going to be turn a blind eye to. Yeah. Turn a blind eye to, which is pretend to be unaware of. So how does this work? I think it is an anagram of lieutenant door by and then without one of the O's dropping round. Okay, so this is going to be next door. Once inside, do not turn right. Let me know in the comments how that one works, please. Regular sweetheart stayed out. Carps northern, 50, beginning to go. 50, Roman numerals, of course. I've been thinking of doing a series of videos on uh, crossword essentials, things like Roman numerals, uh, country codes, foreign words, this sort of thing. Let me know if you're interested in that. So anyway, 50 in Roman numerals is L. Sharp's Northern. Northern can be just N. Sharp. No, I'm not seeing that one. Fairground needs right religious man. Fairground. Uh, fair, um, fairground, I don't know. In retrospect, Retsina is a spirit. So we're putting something backwards, Retsina. Anista, is that a spirit? Anyway. Case of wine and of oil, maybe. Case of wine could be the edges of the word wine, W E. Of oil, maybe. Give this one we've got a letter at least. A tale less devouring creature's legal position. Yeah. 
devouring creature, predator, lion. Um, legal position could be. In vain, secretary is kept behind closed door. Means of rounding off digits. Yeah, no, we started too quickly. Flaunt health food container. One who yells, swan. Hooper, hooper. That's a swan, isn't it? A hoop. Uh, isn't there a type of swan that's spelled something like this? And that's also someone who yells, hooper, whooper, something like that. I think so. Bear in mind that might be wrong. Flaunt health food container. I don't know. Lament. Granddad's first to be put into grave. Dirge. A dirge is a lament. Granddad's first is the letter G, first letter. And then something's grave, it's dire. So we put G inside dire and we get dirge. Magazine and drum. Magazine. Are we looking for a specific magazine? Who knows? Artists representing Utrillo's art. That's going to be an anagram because representing is also representing, of course. But who the artist is, it's an anagram of Utrillo's art. Is it? Utrillo's art is going to be. I don't know. You might survive in one flat destroyed with fire. You might survive in one life raft. Yeah, it's an anagram of flat fire, isn't it? Life raft. Good, that's some nice letters. Beautiful, not very. Around noon is isolated. Who knows? Study appearance, a Latino disposition in one's face. Study appearance. It looks like a Latino could be an anagram part of it, doesn't it? With the word disposition. Florida once associated with alternative muscle. Yes, so Florida's FL. American state codes are something else for the uh, crossword essentials series. Once is X. Associated with, so I think that's just a link word to get to us to the next bit, which is alternative, which is or, and a flexor is a type of muscle, I think. Dreary fish. Um, that's going to be a double definition, isn't it? What kind of fish sounds like it has a dreary name? Dream. No, no. Check nuptial is said. No. Play the bluebird. The bluebird. No, I don't know. In far ground, everything drops from above. In far ground can mean an anagram of in far. Yes, it is. It's rainfall. Because if you, you grind something, you uh, sort of mix it, don't you? And then everything is all. And rainfall drops from above is the definition. Means of rounding off digits. Oh, it's going to be nail file. Digits as in fingers. Very clever. Cryptic definition there. 
in which respect Retsina is a spirit. Well, is this just going to be, um, yeah, it's a, it's a hidden retrospect is clever because that makes you think that something's going backwards, but it's not. It's just in retrospect, right? See now, S-P-E-C-T-R-E. So you know, take it very literally, it, literally in this phrase is a spirit. Yes, spectre. Study is con. I don't know why, but in crossword, study is con. I don't think I've ever found out why. Appearance. A Latino disposition in one's face. Ultra something. So what's the definition? One's face? On, I don't know. Case of wine and oil, maybe. Case. Or a fin, um, no. Baba, what is it? Case of wine and of oil, maybe. Don't know. Drink from major city with German agreement. Now, the, uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, foreign words. German word for yes is ja, isn't it? J-A. Major city with German agreement. So, 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 so something J-A to give us a drink. Ninja. Um, Ooh, can't see it. Drink. Drink with J-A in it. I'm missing something obvious here. Oh dear. Right, legal position. Magazine, truck and drum. What was this one? Sharps, sharps, northern 50 beginning to go. Ground needs right, religious man. A right is going to be letter R, almost certainly. Religious man, vicar. Um, needs something sometimes mean put the letter in and sometimes take the letter out. Uh, fairground, fate. Fate. Fairground. Why is fairground hyphenated? Is that normal? Yes, it is. Dreary fish, don't know that one. Bluebird. Study appearance, a Latino disposition in one's face. Um. Sensational or something like that. What was this one? Regular sweetheart stayed out. Oh, it's going to be. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's steady. It's just a uh, anagram of stayed. And a regular sweetheart is uh, steady, I suppose. Sharps Northern Fifty beginning to go. Sharps. Sharp. What does sharp mean other than pointy? Beginning to go. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> um, right, so this one. In vain, secretary is kept behind closed door. We in secret, yes. It's again, it's hidden in the phrase vain secretary in secret, it's behind closed doors. 
Ah, Illustrator. Yes. Yep, yeah, Anagram of Utrillo's Art is Illustrator. Good. Right. Magazine, truck, and drum. Drum. A tailless, devouring creature's legal position. A locust could be a pres. Oh, yes. Oh, let's have a look. A locust is a uh, position in Latin. Um, I imagine it's a legal term, perhaps. And it's a locust without the last letter of the tail. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that it was a legal position, but it, it's Latin for um, place or position. Magazine, drug and drum. Oh, what's that? Magazine. Cartridge is a... Yes, I think that's it. A cart would be a truck, would it? And then a ridge. Why is a ridge a drum? Don't know, but it's magazine in the sense of um, ammunition magazine, something that you store ammunition in. Oh, I haven't looked at this one. Two kings changed Nero's currency unit. Runa, I think. Should have looked at that one earlier. Is king um, is K in chess notation. R is king, as in Rex, as in um, CR, Charles King, King Charles. And then an anagram of Nero. Nero's changed, changed Nero's. And then we get Krona, which is the currency of uh, various European countries. Flaunt, yes. Healthy food is a bra is bran. And then a uh, container is dish. And if you flaunt something, you brandish it. Good. I think it's the top half almost done. Oh, it's... Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you were shouting at your phone or whatever. Rio is the major city. Ya, German word for yes. Rioja. Hmm. Spanish wine. Case of wine and of oil, maybe. I don't know that one. Could be an anagram of, of oil at the end. Case. Oh, it's portfolio. Of Yes, yeah, so it's an anagram of of oil at the end, and uh, wine is port. And the whole thing is a a case. A portfolio is a case, is it? I suppose it is. Uh, yeah, and maybe the anagram indicator of of the of oil is needs to be anagrammed. Fair ground. Oh, it's another. Wasn't I just saying earlier that ground is a uh, anagram indicator? Idiot. It's a an anagram of fair with right in it, and we get friar. Sharp, nifty. Nifty. Oh, 50. Oh, 50. Yes, I see. Nifty. Yeah, so what this is is N for northern, and then 50. Ah, see, I, I was wrong. It's nothing to do with Roman numerals. It's it's good setting where it takes you down the wrong path, but it's still completely fair. It's 50, so it's N, and then 50, beginning to go, means take away the first letter. So we get N, ifty, nifty, and sharp, and the definition. I didn't know sharp meant nifty, but there we go, it must do. Beautiful, not very. Around noon is isolated. Lonely? Let's write it in and have a look. Just from the uh, isolated, lonely. Beautiful, not very, around noon. Now, noon can sometimes be N for some reason. Beautiful. That's lovely, without the V. Yeah, that's a lot of crossword E's in this one, so it's... Beautiful is lovely. And we take out the V, because V can mean very in some situations, like very good, VG. We're putting in putting what's left around n for noon. I don't know why noon can be n, but it's something to remember for crosswords. And we get we end up with lonely, isolated. 
Still don't know what this one is. Study appearance, a Latino disposition in one's face. Con confrontational. Oh, in one's face, confrontational. Yes, it's got to be that, isn't it? So con study appearance front, and the rest of it is an anagram of a Latino. Yeah, they're not too difficult in the end. And in one's face, if someone is in your face, they're being confrontational. Check. Nuptial is said. This might be a uh, yeah sounds like one. Nuptial. Which all means to do with weddings, doesn't it? Dreary fish. <sighs> so many fish. If I think of any fish that fit other than bream. Play. Now we might might be looking for the name of a play. The blue bird. Forlorn is blue. Um, play. Um, just running through the list of plays I know, which aren't many. Shakespeare. Uh, so Hamlet, Othello, play can also mean play a musical instrument, play a sport, play a recording, play a video, the blue bird, lark, yes, just uh, from thinking of a bird that fits, got this, so it's skylark which means to play doesn't it? And the blue is sky, sort of poetically, you might say. The sky is the blue, and a bird, the bird is lark. Skylark, good. Dreary fish. Still can't get it. Dreary fish. Shout it out if you've got it. Just don't know. Um, well, well, it's not a fish, is it? Don't know. Check nuptial is said. Check. I don't know if I might have to reveal a letter here, unfortunately. Dreary. Bleak. The bleak of fish. If so, no wonder I didn't get that. And the check nuptial is said. Bridal. Bridal. Yep. So, uh, a synonym for nuptial is bridal, B-R-I-D-A-L, and if you say that out loud, like I just did, it sounds like bridal, B-R-I-D-L-E, which is, it's a type of um, horse equipment, isn't it? So, check. Check must mean bridal, again. Did, we never got that. Don't, I don't really uh, know what that means. So, uh, there we go, anyway. Apart from those two at the end, which I don't really understand, let me know. Um, not too bad in the end. So that's it, thanks for watching, and uh, as usual, there's a big subscribe button on the screen now, and uh, another video which you might consider. If not, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time for some more crosswords. Bye!